Madam President. The Senator from Texas. Madam President, I rise to oppose the nomination of Javier Becerra for Secretary of Health and Human Services. There are, unfortunately, numerous nominees in the Biden administration who are either extreme or unqualified for the positions for which they have been nominated. But of all of those nominees, I believe Mr. Becerra is the single worst cabinet nominee put forward by Joe Biden to serve in the cabinet. President Biden has told this country repeatedly that his top priority is defeating the COVID-19 pandemic. The Department of Health and Human Services is on the front line fighting COVID-19. Mr. Becerra, by any measure, is woefully unqualified to lead that department. Mr. Becerra is not a doctor. Mr. Becerra is not a scientist. Mr. Becerra has no health care experience whatsoever. He has no medical experience whatsoever. He has no experience in virology. He has no experience with pharmaceuticals. He has no experience running a state or local health care agency. He has no experience in logistics. The Department of HHS is in the process of distributing and administering hundreds of millions of vaccines. Mr. Becerra has never so much as distributed French fries at a McDonald's. Mr. Becerra's only qualification, and indeed the qualification that earned him this nomination, is he is a radical left-wing trial attorney. Madam President, if a, if a Republican president had nominated as the head of the Health and Human Services Agency, someone with zero health care experience, zero medical experience, zero pharmaceutical experience, in the midst of a global pandemic, that Republican president would have been laughed out of the room. Madam President, if a Republican president had done that, all of the Democrats would have been lined up here thundering, this is a president that doesn't care about science. We would have heard Democrats telling us, this is a president for whom defeating COVID-19 is not a priority, is not serious. This is a president, our Democratic colleagues would have told us, who puts partisan priorities above defeating the, the public health menace of COVID-19. This is a president who's more concerned about appeasing his radical base than he is about protecting the public health and safety of Americans. And Madam President, had a Republican president nominated a nominee as unqualified as Mr. Becerra, I feel confident the Democrats would not have been alone. We would see multiple Republican senators standing up saying, no, we should actually have an HHS secretary who knows something about science. We should have an HHS secretary who knows something about medicine, something about pharmaceuticals. I would note, by the way, President Trump nominated two HHS secretaries. The first, Dr. Tom Price, was a medical doctor. The second, Alex Azar, was president of a major pharmaceutical company in the United States. Both had years and even decades of health care experience. As best I can tell, Madam President, Javier Becerra's only experience with health care is suing the Little Sisters of the Poor. Frankly, it should be a joke. If a Republican president did this, a Republican Senate would discover the backbone to stand up and oppose it. And what I would say is sad is not a single Democrat is willing to stand up to Joe Biden and say, no, try again. It's a pandemic. Over a half million Americans have died. How about put someone at HHS that knows something about health care? Madam President, I'll tell you right now, every senator that supports this confirmation, when we go home, should be prepared to answer to your constituents. Should be prepared to answer when your constituents say, why did you vote to confirm a guy at HHS who doesn't know anything about science or health care or medicine? Why in the middle of a pandemic did you put in a radical left-wing trial lawyer instead of someone that could help us beat this pandemic. 
And for all the Democratic senators who love to intone gravely, listen to the science. Madam President, that's actually, that sentiment is correct. We should listen to the science, which means we should have someone leading HHS who knows something about science. Madam President, my career has been as a lawyer, litigating cases before the United States Supreme Court. If a president asked me to lead the Department of Health and Human Services in the midst of a pandemic, I would tell that president, with all due respect, I don't have the professional experience or expertise to do that job. There are other jobs for which I would be qualified. But in a pandemic, the Health and Human Services Department should have someone who knows a damn thing about health care. Instead of knowing anything about science or medicine or viruses or virology or immunizations, what Mr. Becerra does know about is persecuting citizens who don't share his radical left-wing ideology. Mr. Becerra, as Attorney General of California, has demonstrated a consistent pattern of contempt for privacy. While Attorney General, he used his partisan power to overcome the individual privacy rights of California. And as Attorney General, he demanded that thousands of registered charities annually dis disclose to his offices the names and addresses of major donors. Even though California law didn't require that, but he used government power to violate their right to privacy. Then what did he do? Did he keep it private for law enforcement purposes to examine irregularities? No. Instead, he published the information from nearly 2,000 organizations subjecting donors and those nonprofits to harassment and abuse. Madam President, health care issues are personal. They're sensitive. When you and I go to the doctor, we don't expect our doctor to share our personal health care details with the world. Joe Biden has said to the American people, we're going to put someone in charge of the Health and Human Services Department who doesn't care about privacy and has a record of ignoring your right to privacy. Later this year, the United States Supreme Court will decide whether Mr. Becerra's invasion of privacy violated the First Amendment to the Constitution. While his disregard for privacy is before the Supreme Court, what did Joe Biden do? Said, let's put him in charge of health care in this country. The third reason Mr. Becerra's nomination is so concerning concerns conscience protections. The next HHS secretary will be responsible for upholding the conscience protections that are written into federal law to protect the rights of people of faith, whatever your faith whether you're Christian or Jewish or Muslim or whatever your faith might be, the right of professionals, of citizens under the First Amendment to live according to their faith. But Mr. Becerra, as Attorney General, has aggressively defended a California law that forced pro-life groups to advertise for abortion, a law that the Supreme Court deemed unconstitutional under the First Amendment. Think about for that, that for a second. He was so radical, going after and persecuting conscience rights, he wanted pro-life groups to advertise for abortion. And it took the United States Supreme Court to strike it down and say, that is unconstitutional. Joe Biden wants him to bring the same heavy-handed zealotry to the Health and Human Services Department. And Mr. Becerra has not shown that it's just free speech that he has antagonism to, but it is religious liberty as well. Mr. Becerra has defended California's targeting of churches holding indoor services. State of California concluded that if you go to an indoor service at a church and you pray or you sing or you worship, that you are a public health menace. But if you go to a protest, if you go to other secular activities where the name of God is not invoked, then magically this virus is not contagious. It's ludicrous. It was facially absurd. It was driven by an unconstitutional animus. 
towards people of faith, and it took the United States Supreme Court to strike it down and to say the policy that Mr. Becerra was defending is unconstitutional. Government cannot target people of faith. So you've got a nominee with no health care experience, no medical experience, no scientific experience, but a record of being a radical persecuting those with whom he disagrees, who has repeatedly gone before the U.S. Supreme Court and lost over and over again for violating the First Amendment, for violating free speech, for violating religious liberty. He's now currently before the Supreme Court for violating the privacy rights of Californians. Do you want an HHS secretary who doesn't respect your privacy, who doesn't respect your free speech, your religious liberty? Do you want an HHS secretary who is not qualified to draw blood or give a shot, who doesn't know how to distribute vaccines, who's never distributed anything? Madam President, if nominations and confirmations were based on the merits, were based on qualification to serve, Mr. Becerra's nomination would be rejected by the Senate by a vote of 100 to nothing. The fact that that is unlikely to happen, that every Democrat will march lockstep with the Biden administration to confirm a nominee who has no health care experience whatsoever in the midst of a global pandemic, shows just how profoundly partisan and radicalized today's Democratic Party is. I believe all of us should be united in demanding a Health and Human Services Secretary who's actually qualified to protect our health and defeat this pandemic. I urge my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to vote against this nomination. Madam President. The Senator from Pennsylvania. Madam President, I rise to speak uh, this afternoon in support of the nomination of Javier Becerra to serve as the next Secretary of Health and Human Services. President Biden nominated Mr. Becerra, who currently serves as the Attorney General of the State of California, prior to his service in